behalf of Patrick and Terrell, welcome to this very first day of celebrating their marriage together. And as family and friends, you are invited here not only to participate in the ceremony, but participate in their marriage. Oh, there's the wind. It's good confirmation. Love always transitions from dating into deep confirmation where you discover that this person has your back in any and all situations, no matter what. Love always perseveres. Love is never possession. It's never possession of the other. It is only participation with the other. And now here we are today in front of this beautiful setting with your family and friends and take a look around, feel their love and their appreciation and devotion to you both. Patrick and Terrell, you are here to make the greatest of all commitments, to love one another always, no matter what, no matter how difficult it gets, no matter the mistakes that are made, you are here to love, to forgive and honor the depths of one another for the rest of this life. Carol and I have known each other since move-in day of freshman year, and this cute little cheerleader from Dallas quickly became one of my closest friends. Terrell was the one girl I could always count on for endless optimism and a sense of adventure. Terrell, you are my girl. You are the most loyal and truly joy-filled woman that I know. Thank you for being my forever emergency contact <laughs> and the best travel buddy. Patrick. Thank you for always making Terrell your first priority and fiercely protecting her no matter the circumstance. Thank you for being a huge example to all of us of a truly loving partnership that is fit to last a lifetime. Patrick, believe the woman whose hands you now hold to be the choice of your heart and to forever be the object of your love as long as you both shall live. I do. And do you, Mary, Terrell, Wazfontaine, believe the man whose hands you now hold to be the choice of your heart and to forever be the object of your love for as long as you both shall live? Please say, I do. I do. Terrell, of all the people you've met so far on your journey, and of all the places you've been, somehow you've ended up here today with me. It's the most powerful and humbling fact that I can accept. The last four years of my life have been truly blessed because I can't get to wake up every morning and see you. As we move to the next chapter, I promise our story will continue to be interesting. I promise to continue to always have your back and protect you 
especially from raccoons. <laughs> when you're sad, I promise I will continue to tell you terrible jokes until you smile. Most importantly, I promise to always love you every day as much as I do now. Patrick, nothing can make me happier than standing here in front of you today, committing to a lifetime of teamwork, friendship, and love with you. I promise to grow with you and to work as tirelessly as you do to build our life together. I promise to surprise you and to at least consider letting you surprise me sometimes too. I promise to never forget how irreplaceable our love is and to cherish the little quiet moments together. I promise to support and protect you as you have always supported and protected me. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for us, but no matter what triumphs and challenges lie ahead, I promise to be by your side for every moment. The first time we met Terrell was at one of our annual holiday parties. We quickly learned that Terrell is kind, warm, and inviting. She puts her friends and family, and most importantly, Patrick first, and I'm excited for the life you're starting together. Now please join me in raising your glasses to Patrick and Terrell. Patrick, we're happy you've joined our family, and I'm glad you're in Terrell's life. I think you two really do. You're very opposite but you do complete one another. Enjoy tonight, and thank you again for coming, and I love both of you, and I wish you all the happiness in the world.